I'm going to show all the steps that I took to prepare the app node operating system for receiving all the apps from my all-in-one demo installation. I started by downloading CentOS. If you have a Red Hat, you don't have to do any of this. And some of the steps I'm going to be showing might be trivial for you. You might fast forward the uh, video as you please. Uh, so I downloaded the minimalistic uh, ISO image for CentOS. So I start, I'm using VMware Fusion by creating a new VM. And I'm going to actually drag that CentOS ISO image in here. Click Continue, Legacy BIOS, Customize Settings. I'm going to put this one here and on the settings. I'm going to give them the minimal required, which is 12 gigabyte of RAM. I'm going to give it four cores, which is also the minimum required. Oh, needed didn't need that comma there. <laughs> um, so that's the four cores, the memory, the hard disk. System, the recommendations are 256 uh, gigabytes. So I'm going to give it that. And I'm going to have, by default, my adapter is going to be NAT. So I'm ready here. I'm going to start the installation. I select install CentOS. Hit enter. And I'm going to pause the video until there's something that uh, we need to actually highlight here. Yeah, English is fine. Now I need to click here. I'm not going to change anything, but it asks me to validate that, that it needs to be selected. And I'm ready to begin the installation. Need, need to set up a user. I'm going to put the password for root. Again, I'm going to pause until the next step. It asks for a reboot. Now we need to fix the or set up the networking for this machine. So I'm here on this uh, directory or net script and I'm going to edit the configuration file for the first uh, adapter, the one that was defined as not if cfg uh, dash ens33. And we, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit I for insert. I'm going to remove this in here, or I'm going to actually change it from from no to yes, because we want the IPv6, IPv4. We need to leave the IPv6 stuff in there because that's uh, the documentation set that is required. But I'm, I need to add the 
IP address. And I'm, I'm not going to use DHCP. So I'm going to actually I'm going to pause it and put all the parameters and I'll, I'll resume the video. So these are the three parameters that I added escape, colon, WQ. Oops. Escape, colon, write, Q. And we can actually test this by uh, restarting the network. We can issue that command to restart the network. We can see that we can ping that address. A uh, few more things to do. So we edit the network file. We are going to add these uh, three commands. We're going to add those three commands in there and escape colon wq we're going to edit the one more file for the dns resolution this step uh, might, is, might not be needed because the gateway should already been uh, defined before and actually it was actually generated by the network manager we see that it added this one in here so we don't have to do anything we can just uh, quit here and we are ready we can restart the network and we should be able to pin the world Let's ping google well, let me actually do it google.com ping google.com and we get resolution now that we have that there are a few other things the documentation asks for opening two port 5443 and 1443 so to do that we issue this this uh, these commands that opens that port and we have to do the same with 1443 we need to issue this command to force the reloading of the firewalls even though we're going to we re reboot the machine this will these changes have been made permanent so we do a sudo firewall command uh, reload and that does it documentation calls for making sure that we can do jom installs uh, for example and I'm going to uh, install the net tool package if we do if config I don't believe is gonna work yep but if we do jom install net dot dash uh, tools then the machine can talk to the world this thing uh, install the net tools say yes to that uh, yes to that and we now can do if config and we have proven that jump installer is it's fine the documentation asks to go into that sshd underscore config file and verify that you have 
the following parameter uh, for allow TCP IP forwarding. So well, let me actually think that that is uppercase allowed. TCP forwarding, yes. You don't have to uncomment the hash, just having the yes next to it is actually good enough. So we don't have, I didn't have to do anything on this particular file. So let me uh, exit it. Documentation also wants to make sure that the clocks are in sync between this machine and the curator machine. So type uh, that CTL. So you issue, oops, time date CTL. So that's the current time. Let me actually go into the uh, curator box. I'm going to open a terminal. I'm going to SSH into the curator box which is that one. And we validate that we are, the, the, the clocks are in sync. Now we need to make sure that we can SSH into, from the curator console into the app, uh, app node machine. So we do SSH, uh, SSH root at 172.16.60.57. Good. Uh, I actually, what happened is that I tried this installation procedure before and I install it in a different location and what you need to do to eliminate that problem is actually to remove the actual uh, let me show you the command use this command SSA key, key, key generation remove that because it had the keys from the previous one and that's what is giving me that error. So you can issue that. And then now you can SSH into the root machine. Again, I'm inside. Notice that I'm here in the curator console and I'm SSHing into the app node. That's a, something that the documentation asks us to do. And because I remove those keys, asking me, do you trust this host? And I say, yes. I put the password. And I'm inside that machine. The last part of the setup is actually to issue this command. I'm again I'm in the I did the SSH into the app node and I when you type SSH root the app node uh, app address you mask you get this dialog that you say yes and you should get this 0022. The documentation said that that is essential for the installation to complete. And with all these steps done your uh, CentOS is ready to receive uh, the app nodes in the migration and that will be shown in the next video.